So I've been promising for a while to do a what's in my bag video about the eBay bag which I featured in a couple of my videos and I'm about to do it. So just a little bit of kind of background on the bag. This is a bag from eBay. It's real Italian leather um, and it's basically a kind of Birkin inspired bag. Now I've always wanted a Birkin bag. I think they're absolutely gorgeous but the price tag um, is way, way, way beyond my reach. So I wanted something that kind of looked similar and I got this for Christmas. This retails on eBay at around £89, so it's not super cheap, but it's amazing quality. You can see the leather is really, really nice quality. I got it in black because that's kind of the most versatile colour and the gold hardware I think is amazing as well. I'll give you kind of what's in my bag first and then I'll give you a little mini review of the bag as well because a couple of you have been asking me to do that. So I'm just going to open the bag up and talk you through what's inside. So you just kind of open it up and it's just got kind of a big gaping hole and I'll just kind of take things out in random order. First thing I've got in here is my diary and this is actually from WH Smith's. I got it a couple of days ago. I've been needing a diary for ages and I couldn't find one I liked until I saw this and I love it. And it says, Dear Diamonds, we all know who really is a girl's best friend, your sincerely chocolate cake. And it's just got loads of little quotes like that in it that are really funny. My favourite one is this one that says, Dear men, you may wear the trousers, but who tells you which ones to wear? Your sincerely women. And I've just write down in here things like um, my doctor's appointment, um, things I need to film, things I need to buy, that kind of thing. And it's really handy to have. So I've got that in there. Then I have a bottle of water that's almost empty. I've always got water in my handbag. Then um, my purse, which is from Primark. I do really like this purse, but it kind of bugs me that it doesn't match my bag, and I know that's ridiculous, and this is a new purse. So I'm not buying one for a while, even though it was only like five pounds. But um, this is my purse, and in here, let me show you if I've got anything interesting. I've just got a load of receipts, my Tesco's club card, bank card, boots card, super drug card, various loyalty cards, a photo. And then at the back here, I usually just keep change. I don't think I've got much in there. No, just a few coppers, a 10 pence coin, and a boots receipt. That's my purse. Then I have got my little on-the-go makeup bag, and this is from, um, I think I got it on eBay, but you can get it in various stores, and this company's got a name, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it says Real Life Photoshop for my face, and I think it's just adorable. It's just this kind of nice, sort of soft um, fabric. And then I'll talk you through what I've got in here. I've got the lip product that I'm wearing at the moment, which is the Bourjois Colour Boost in Peach on the Beach. I think that name's just adorable, really cute. I'm planning a big video on the kind of drugstore chubby stick, so that's why that is um, in there. Then I've got my powder, the 17 Miracle Matte Pressed Powder. Copious amounts of lip products, as you're going to see. Uh, this is a 17 lipstick in Showmance. It's just this kind of peachy colour. A Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, the lip version. I really like that. Um, a little mini deodorant, which is nearly run out. I need to pick up a new one of these. Um, this is just the Dove one. A mini perfume. This is the Caudalie um, Fleur de Vine. Really like that. Um, another chubby stick, which is the Rimmel... Um, Color Rush Lasting Intense Color Balm. This is in the shade, um, I don't know what shade this is in because it doesn't say. Anyway, it's just a kind of nudie color. Then I've got, oh my God, another one. This is the Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain in Lovesick. I really like that. And then a concealer, the Miners Fresh Face Concealer. Just in case I kind of need to top up. Another lip product, this is so stupid. The um, 17 mirror shine ones, this is nearly on its last legs really, you can see how much I've got left of that, in Belle. And then I've got some hand sanitizer, this one's from Primark, I'm going to get some, I dropped a lipstick. This one's from Primark, I'm going to get some more. Um, a set of blotting powder papers, these are just some random ones, I don't know what brand this is. A nail file, some hand cream, this is by um, L'Occitane and a lip liner, this is Max Dervish. So that's everything that I've got in my kind of on the go makeup bag. I usually 
narrow down some of those lip products because that is a bit ridiculous. Um, then, just random things, I've got a kind of energy bar. This is a chocolate and coconut cereal bar, which is really disgusting. That's why I've, it's in their hole and it's been in there for weeks. Um, a medicate, well, medication, my kind of birth control pill packet is in there because I just want to pick that up. My sunglasses, I've just changed these round. I was wearing my Gucci ones, but um, I feel like they don't look as nice when I have my hair curly. I feel like they're my straight hair sunglasses. These are my curly hair sunglasses, if that makes sense. I'll show you them on. I'm sure I've shown them in previous videos, but these were from Furigamo. They look like that. I've been wearing those today because it's been really sunny. And then on that note, I've also got an umbrella in here because you never know, and it has been quite um, rainy lately. This is from Benefit. It was something that I got sent a while ago, and it's really handy. It comes with this little umbrella cover as well, which is really cute, but for some reason, I can never get it in properly. So, yeah, an umbrella, really nice handbag size. And then I've got um, my keys. I just keep these in this bright pink kind of little pouch because it's much easier to spot than the keys that kind of rattle around the bottom of your bag. This is just a Lauren's Way little pouch. And um, on here, what have I got? Just random key rings um, and house keys, that kind of thing. A little USB um, port because I think that's really handy to have on the go with you and my latest um, addition is this little Marilyn one that says give the girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world I think that's really cute so they're my keys and I really recommend keeping them somewhere like brightly coloured if you can because it does make them a lot easier to spot than having to rummage around for your keys in the rain which is what happens to me on a daily basis and that's it really my phone um, I've just got my phone here new phone case which I really like, that's from eBay. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about the bag itself. So this is what it looks like from the front. Now it has these kind of little clasps that you're supposed to close over the top and then loop that in and they both go on this part and then you twist it. But the thing with that is um, as much as it's a lovely bag and it's a really sturdy, really smart bag, it's not the best for kind of carrying around if you're walking a lot because you can't hang it on your shoulder, you only can hold it on the crook of your arm and it does get a little bit heavy and it's not the most comfortable bag to hold. So that is something that you should bear in mind. I don't tend to use this if I've got loads um, to, like I've got a lot in it and I need to walk around a lot. I don't tend to use it that much if I'm doing that. And to close it is an absolute mission. It's got the kind of lovely little padlock here and I don't usually close it because if I've closed it properly, which I will do now just for the sake of this video to show you, um, once you've closed it properly, then it's a real mission to get back in it. And it puts me off, because then if I just need to grab my phone or grab my wallet, um, which is usually the case with me, I can't. I have to like sit there and fiddle around with it and get it back open and it just is really, it just takes longer than you want it to kind of thing, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to have to, this is what I mean, even to get it closed, it's just a mission. Right, okay, I've got it closed. So that's what it looks like closed. It does look much, much nicer, but I tend to just have it like this. So just keep these two open like that and close it from the front and then you can just open it up like that. The other thing that's slightly awkward is not having compartments. That's not too much of an issue for me because I tend to, as I said, keep things in little pouches. So my keys have a pouch, my makeup has its own pouch, and then it's easier for me to deal with it. But if you are someone that doesn't like to do that and you like to have everything compartment compartmentized, then that's really good. I know you can get those kind of bag organizers from Primark. I might get one of those to put in it, actually. That's a really good idea. Um, I'm gonna go to Primark later on and I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, it's really lovely quality. I think it's a really good price as well for the quality of it it's gonna wear lovely it's got that lovely kind of leather smell it's got these little, little hardware um, things at the bottom so you can stand it up and it's just a very elegant timeless bag that I think um, you should kind of have in your collection whether or not you use it on a daily basis it's a good work bag as well because it's very smart so that's it that's my kind of updated what's in my bag slash eBay bag review if you want me to do a video about kind of designer um, inspired bags. I've got quite a few, most of them were from eBay and I really like them, I think they're all really nice quality. So let me know if you want me to do a video about designer um, copies or inspired, shall we call it, bags because I would gladly do that and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!